time for Medical Monday. Dr. Darkabani is here with Aurora Bay Care. We're talking about National Stroke Awareness Month. What is stroke, first of all? Stroke happens when there is a damage to a certain area of the brain, usually because of lack of blood supply, because mm -hmm. either with a blockage to the brain or usually or with interruption with hemorrhage or breaking of a vessel gotcha. that supplies certain area of the Do brain. Do we need a whole month to talk about stroke awareness? Absolutely. Um, we take basically the stroke awareness month is very important for us to spread the message mm -hmm. about um, the need for more awareness mm -hmm. about stroke. Uh, we like to educate people about the symptoms and signs of stroke. Mm -hmm. um, also, we like to educate them about the need to call 911 immediately so as important. well. So let's talk about that. How, what are some of the things that you could do to avoid your risk for stroke? The major risk factor for stroke is usually high blood pressure. Okay. Um, smoking also as mm -hmm. important. Yep. Um, improving quality of life and uh, healthier lifestyle. Right, always. just the things we always think of, you know, changing your diet, exercising more, those things are always going to help prevent. Absolutely. That will definitely lead, live, living a healthier lifestyle mm -hmm. will reduce your risk of stroke. I never realized too, I was reading notes about this, 22 pounds just after the age of 18 can increase your risk of having a stroke. That will decrease your risk wow. significantly. That's unbelievable. Okay, so what are some of the warning signs? I think these are really important too. What we would like to teach people about is we like to use the acronym FAST. Mm -hmm. F stands for facial drooping, A arm or leg weakness, S for speech or language difficulty, and T was added to show the importance of time. Oh, okay. Time to call 911. So are the things that are on our screen right now, like you said, the numbness or weakness, confusion or trouble speaking, seeing or walking, any of those things, when you notice that in someone, you should really become aware at that point. Absolutely, and you should, you should call 911 immediately. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so important. Like you said, the time aspect in there. I mean, it can be the matter of life and death, right? Um, every minute, two million cells in the brain will die. Wow. So if the patient arrived to the hospital in a really good time, we'll be able to do a lot of um, aggressive therapy nowadays okay. where patients have a better chance of having a better quality of life. Gotcha. Those are life-saving procedures and life-saving therapy, but also their quality of life-saving as well. So important to get on on time. All right, thanks so much for being with us, Doc. For more information about strokes and how you can prevent them, just visit our website. Charlie is up next with today's take when we come back.